Hi, I've been out shopping for travel towels. Now I wanted everything. I wanted something that was small. I wanted it to be light. I wanted it to be big enough to lie on when I came out of the sea. Uh, I wanted it to be soft. I wanted it to be absorbent. And I wanted it to be cheap. So I've been uh, messing around, trying to find out what I can, and I thought I'd share it with you, hopefully save you wasting as much time as I have this week. Okay, well the first one I picked up, based on the reviews, was this one. This is the Pactal Ultralight. I got it in the Excel so that it would be big enough to, uh, to get changed in or something. I mean, it is really small. That gives you an idea of the size. It's 12 centimeters by 18 centimeters. The listed weight is 90 grams, 89 grams, and it's about right because on my scales here with the packaging, it's only 111 grams, even with all the packaging. The only thing about this is it has got a bit, well it's very thin obviously, and it's got a bit of a papery texture. Some of the reviewers say, oh I don't like the feel of it on my skin. So I wasn't sure. I thought I'll try something else. Just weighing it there, yeah, 89 grams, spot on, just for the towel. Anyway, so then I thought I'll have a look at the original pack towel. This is made from viscous, which is a natural fibre sourced from wood pulp. Unlike this one, which is a microfiber, which is 80% polyester, 20% nylon. These type of microfiber towels usually are said to soak up. Um, about four times their own weight in water. This one soaks up ten times its own weight in water. I thought this would be cool. It's only it's listed as being 122 grams, so that's not a big penalty, is it? On 89, but then when it turned up in the post, look at the size of it. It's more than well over twice the size. The other thing is, is do you need to soak up ten times its weight in water? And what occasion would you want to do that? Anyway, so I was pondering. Price-wise, by the way, that cost me £20. You can get them between £20 and £25. These ones, £17 or £18. Oh, and the texture of this one as well is a bit peculiar, with it being the viscous fabric. People often describe it as being like a stiff piece of felt. I think it softens up when you use it for a while, but you can see it's a strange fluffy type consistency. Nice to have the little bag to put it in. Oh, let's see how much it weighs. Like I said, it was listed at 122. Let's have a look. Hundred and thirty-six grams in reality. Over a hundred and sixty grams when it's in the bag. Not a vast amount, but more than the listed weight. Anyway, someone said to me, why don't you go and have a look in Decathlon? I don't know if they have a Decathlon near you. They're like a European sports chain that sell their own branded goods. I went in there and I found this thing. This is their microfiber towel that they sell in their swimming department. You can see it's about the same size as the pack towel original. It's made out of a microfiber, but a more of a conventional fabric with a nice suede, soft finish. Lovely and soft. Weighs slightly more than either of these. Uh, just over 200 grams, about 205 grams, but it's hardly a vast amount. It 
easily big enough for changing in a swimming pool or if you on a beach or you want to lie on the beach or something and this one will again soak up four times its weight in water I would say it's the most pleasant to use and not only that for £15 you get not one but two of these so they're like what half third of the price of, of these ones so the final question is well it depends what you're using what is the best towel and it depends what you're using it for and how much water do you need to absorb how much water when you have a shower how much water do you use well I thought I'd find out so yesterday I had a shower with this and I uh, sorry I didn't have a shower with this I had a shower and dried myself with this I'd weighed it before, 206 grams as I said before, weighed it after, with drying my hair and everything, I mean I only have short hair, but with drying my hair it weighed 276 grams, so that had 70 grams of water in. Like I said, that can hold up to four times its own weight in water, so that could hold 800 grams of water and I only use 70, no problem. Even this one, weighing 90 grams, is like more than enough for a shower. That'll hold, what, 360 grams of water? That's a, at least enough for three people to have a shower, unless you've got very long hair, in which case you'd still probably be okay. And even when that's sodden, you can wring it out and it will be dry again. Or at least uh, it'll be dry enough to soak up some more water. And apparently within an hour or so, these things are completely dry. And again, big enough to put around yourself, These also have the benefit of having this handy snap loop so you can just hang it around a tent pole or um, anything like that or on the back of your pack or something, hang it up to dry. Is that going to snap on? Yes it is. The other thing I like about this one, it makes a handy scarf. So, seems to me Now there's a question of what is this one good for? Well there is one thing that this is good for with that extra absorbency and that is when people are travelling for long periods uh, sometimes they like to wash their clothes out on the move and they don't have access to laundry facilities um, and there is a technique that people use where they will take their, whoops, their wet t-shirts or whatever wrap them in the towel they wring them out, wrap them in the towel, roll the towel up and use it to, to get the excess moisture out. I would say that would be fantastic for that, but if you've got no plans to be doing something like that, I don't see what the purpose of that would be. Even if you want to uh, mop up water in your tent or something like that, that would be fine because you just do it, wring it out, mop up some more. If you want something, if you're going to be, if you were planning on carrying a towel anyway, and you want the closest thing to a towel, but you want something that's going to dry quicker and that's going to take up less space and weigh less, and you want something cheap and cheerful, I'd get that. It's a lovely towel. If you weren't planning on taking a towel, but it would be really nice to have one, you want something that's going to take up as little space as possible, I'd go for this one. I think this is a great product, and it's not going to take up any space. It'll fit in your back pocket. If I was going to be away for months travelling Southeast Asia, going from hostel to hostel, washing stuff out on the go, I might consider this, but I'd probably get, to be honest, I'd probably go for a smaller one, say a medium, and take one of these as well for the flexibility. But overall, the optimum one, in my opinion, out of these, is this one. And funnily enough, that's the one I bought in the first place. Okay, well I hope that's of some help and you don't waste as much time as I have in making a decision. Bye.